Something else I wanted to show in uh, Go Food, Survival Food, Workout Food type stuff, and uh, and it's when your options are going to be limited by uh, space and weight. Uh, this stuff is relatively expensive for the nutrition value, but when you talk about serving size, the space and weight, it's it's an option to consider when you've got your five hour energy shot stuff that tends to be a little bit more uh, chemically oriented, a lot of vitamin B, vitamin B in that and uh, these packets actually are more compact but they weigh about the same as one of your little five hour energy shots or the, even the knockoffs. Uh, basically usually a little over an ounce, uh, under two ounce, ounce and a half for the power gel made by the same company that does power bars a lot of people would look at this as uh, basically synthetic honey and there is another company that has one that's called uh, Honey Stinger and it's basically honey in one of these foil packs okay now one of the old tricks I used to do in the Marine Corps for uh, part way through a PT test is I'd get a hold of the honey packs from Kentucky Fried Chicken uh, because I had read somewhere that honey was was one of these things could help you keep going because that was a three mile PT test on a run it, that takes a while. You can get a little sapped part way through that run. So the idea was you guys would play around with sugar packets or honey packets. And I found that the honey packets worked a little bit better than straight sugar because sugar kind of gives you a jolt, jolt and it could burn you during the same run. Well, it turns out there's been some stuff that was chemically engineered to work very much like honey, but with a few little enhancements. And I believe the first one came out with a power gel, and then Goo Gu came out with the next one. And I believe Gatorade has a, a, a version two, or it's out by a similar company. But these are probably the two front runners that you'll see, let's say, for, on the Amazon.com. One of the things that I found was that the power gel stuff, a little more expensive, but the serving size is actually slightly larger. So when you see the, these in a store, and you think, well, it's a little bit of flatter, looser package. It's probably about the same amount of stuff. Actually, it's not. With the Power Bar, Power Gel product, you actually get a little bit more. So if it costs a little bit more in a store, that's why. The other thing is that when you look at it on Amazon.com, there is a price difference. It's not as broad of a price difference. And it definitely is uh, cost beneficial to you to buy this stuff by the case. One of the things I liked is that with the Goo brand, they all have the caffeine in them. With the Power Gel brand, only two of them are going to have the caffeine, and that's actually three of them. There's a uh, coffee-flavored one, there's the green apple-flavored one, and then there's the tangerine. Now, for whatever reason, the tangerine and the uh, coffee versions are the ones that have like what they call the double caffeine boost. Uh, I can tell you that when I have been in a hurry, didn't really have time to even make coffee, I wanted to get, uh, you know, my bowels moving in the morning, that sort of a thing, I would, uh, one reason I don't even have those on display for the video is I gobbled up the, the, the coffee flavor of the uh, power gel. It, it works. It gets the job done. Is it super app appetizing a snack on? It's a matter of opinion. I personally think as far as taste, tastiness goes, I, I kind of like the goo flavored ones. Uh, they have a, a, a pretty decent selection, but their coffee flavored one is not as good as the power gel one. The thing I like about them is on the goo is that they all have the caffeine in it. So what are these really going to do for you? Well, they have a little bit more of a calorie nutrient content than your 5-hour energy, but they have less of the go stuff, the speed stuff, whatever you want to call it. So as a nutrient and you're trying to really save space and weight, you can stuff a few of these things in your pocket and kind of keep going between regular meals or on a mission or something like that, especially when you need to get some nutrients in your body without enough uh, roughage to trigger having to go to the bathroom during a mission. Now, when you have the caffeine stuff and you're middle-aged like I am, expect the need to go to the bathroom not long after having one of the caffeine shots. I mean, that's kind of how these things work. That's why we drink coffee in the morning. And once your system is purged, if you keep on this stuff, it could give you the jitters. 
okay and that's where you would get the non-caffeine versions from power uh, the power gel uh, non-caffeine versions it's, it's a very compact type of a thing but personally I think you might want to look at cliff bars and power bars it's just to, if you're you know doing really strenuous activity where you don't want to have your your body's system have to de have to move a bunch of blood to the stomach to digest food you you want that nutrient to go through your system right now very quickly it needs to be in more or less a liquid or gel form the issue with the liquids is they may not keep so well in bug out bags they may not keep so well in travel bags and they can be an issue if you're traveling on an aircraft okay there's a lot of liquid container stuff that if you're traveling by commercial air that you can't have with you so you know a lot of your protein shake drinks all that kind of a stuff you you can't you're not going to get all the way through the airport with that all right but with these things you can it doesn't count as a liquid as far as your uh, uh you know getting on an airplane type stuff now I would hope that no bad guys are going to start repackaging, you know, some kind of uh, explosive or fire starter stuff in these little packages. Uh, it's possible, but they would not be carrying, hopefully, not major amounts, okay? This is going to be something that you would tend to want to keep two or three, four packets of as a nutrient when you're on the go and you have to be really compact for space and weight. In fact, I just flew. Um, I, I, I flew to Texas not that long ago. I carried a few of these in my carry-on bag, and that was, uh, you know, pretty useful because airport food can get expensive. They uh, they're even charging for some of the stuff they served on the airplane. Okay, so if you want to have a, a lightweight nutrient that you're just going to carry in your pocket, this stuff is a pretty good choice. Goes anywhere. Preservation. Um, I have had this stuff in some of my kits for up to a year. You start getting over a year and you'll notice a flavor di difference when you get into it. This is something you're going to be rotating through, making a habit of having around. Not something you just store away for 10 years. So that is something to consider when you put this stuff in survival kits. But you're talking about 2 ounce packets here, 1.5 ounce packets. It's is basically just a, a larger version of a, you know, very similar to the ketchup packet you have at European McDonald's when they're really stingy with that stuff. And uh, that's that's one of the things I would recommend if you're doing a super lightweight uh, go kit type thing for nutrition that's, uh, you know, going to be survival friendly. You just got to realize this is not long-term shit hit the fan storage stuff.